So one little secret that I found and I actually use is that whenever I find myself getting to like these states of like depression or just mental issues or whatever, I just tell myself, I'm like, listen, Habibi, if you're falling into depression right now, if you actually fall into it, you're basically gay. So that basically tells my brain, it's like, wait a minute, you are what you think, right? You are what you think. So if I actually start becoming depressed on top of that, I'll start feeling like I'm actually gay. So I'll actually do become gay. So as a result, it's like, it's like a double loss. So as a result, actually, I just don't become depressed. So that's how you beat depression, man. That's the secret. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But look, when I am lifting, I actually do tell myself, I'm like, if you can't lift this, you're actually gay. So as a result, I'm just able to lift it. But you know what the actual secret is to truly heal all these mental issues that people are having right now? Music. If you stop listening to music, trust me, bro. You fix everything that's happening in your brain. Depression is gone. Anxiety is gone. All these mental health issues are gone. And let me prove it to you in this video. Now, look, first of all, this is something that most people never want to talk about just because most people, music is like very dear to them. When they're on the train, they have AirPods and they're just, they're just listening to music. When they're just sitting at home, they're just listening to music. Everywhere you go, people are just listening to music. So it's something that everyone is actually addicted to. And yes, it is an addiction to the point that when you tell someone, if you actually stop listening to music, your life improves, they're like, no, 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 no. Music? I can't, I can't stop that, man. And they fail to realize, like, if you live in a way where you actually are exposed to, like, zero music, you start to feel different and you start to actually live different and you realize there's just, like, another world where you can access your true powers because you're not distracted most of the time and you're not frying your dopamine receptors most of the time. And by the way, I actually went the extreme route to the point that even, like, negative music, I'm against that for sure, but even positive music, like, I've become to the point now where I'm actually against it. Maybe this is an extreme thing. Maybe you don't have to go, like, as far of an extreme. But I feel like when you watch this whole video, like, you'll, you'll know exactly why. And by the way, even when I'm at the gym, I don't listen to music. Like, yes, I might look like I'm mentally ill, which is what I'm trying to fix. Like, I'm just sitting, waiting for my set for bench press. I'm just sitting, I'm like, just no music at all. And it might look weird, but you know what I'm actually doing? I'm listening to my thoughts, bro. And that's so important. Like, that's how I'm actually able to control my brain. That's how I'm able to control my mind. Most people don't have that ability. That's how, bro, I never feel depression, bro. I never feel these anxiety things. I don't feel that stuff. Because my mind is not exposed to the things that most people are exposed to. And this is something that most people are never going to get to live. Because they're always listening to music. And they think it's something that they can't live without. But look, Habibi, what is music? Like, truly, what is music? Music is just sounds, right? Like when you have these AirPods in your in your ears and you're listening to music, like what truly is that? It's just sounds. So what are sounds? Sounds are just frequencies. Now, if you're studying science, you would know that every atom in the world is actually vibrating in a certain way. But the vibration changes based on the frequency that this atom is actually exposed to. So you're made out of atoms. Everything else is made out of atoms. And thoughts, thoughts in your head are basically energy. So because sound is like a vibration, Whenever you're actually exposed to sound, whether you ask for it or not, the body cells in your body and your thoughts are vibrating in a specific way based on what that sound actually is. So every sound has like specific type of hertz. So frequency is measured in hertz. So some hertz are actually better than others and some hertz are worse than others. And the crazy part about it, bro, is that disease, disease like mental diseases, physical diseases, all that stuff is actually vibration, but it's vibration at a certain frequency. Now, when people are exposing themselves to all these sound waves, to all these music, then what's happening is that they're actually inducing certain vibrations in their body. And you don't know if these certain vibrations lead to disease or they lead to the opposite. So you can actually, listen, you can actually put a disease on your body just through sound. And this has been proven. So there is this Japanese scientist. His name is Masaru Emoto. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> But basically, he did an experiment where he exposed water to certain sound vibrations. And what he noticed is that the electromagnetic field of the water molecules, they actually change based on what type of sound it's actually exposed to. So if you were to come and you were to actually say, like literally say with your own words to the water, you would be like, I love you. The water changes. But if you come here and then you would say, I hate you, the water changes to another structure, which is actually insane. Because think about it, bro. You, like your body, what is it? What is it, bro? It's 70% water. Your whole body, it's 70% water. Which means when you're listening to music, you're changing your body structure. So when you're exposing your body to negative frequency, what is that leading to? Bro, it's leading to disease. But think about it. The opposite is true. When you're exposing your body to positive frequency, what's happening? You're healing disease, which is insane. This is such a, bro, this is such an insane discovery. Like, do you realize why our prophet, peace be upon him, he used to tell you, 
Before you eat, say Bismillah. Before you eat, say in the name of God. Why is that? Habibi, he said it for a reason. He didn't just say it just like that. Like that Japanese scientist, he actually did an experiment. If you were to take dirty water, but then you would actually say a prayer over it, that water changes its structure. Which is insane, Habibi! This is why I remember at some point there was like this video of this Muslim guy. Some, some person challenged him to drink poison, rat poison, and he actually went and drank it. But nothing happened to him. How is that possible? Now tell me. When you're listening to music, when you're listening to like struggle rap, when you're listening to like all these satanic singers, bro, when you're listening to these people, what's happening to your body? All you're doing is just inducing disease to your body. All you're doing is just putting negative thoughts in your body. And what happens when your body has thoughts? Like I said in the beginning, you are what you think. So when you're starting to think in this negative state, what's happening to your life? Your whole life is going to become negative. And why is it negative? Because the roots, bro. The roots are the thoughts. But where are these thoughts coming from? From the stupid music that you guys listen to. And this is so important, man. Like I remember as soon as, by the way, by the way, I used to be like a heavy Eminem fan. But as soon as like I finally realized, I'm like, I'm not just an Eminem fan, bro. Like Eminem doesn't even freaking know me. Why am I just listening to this guy 24-7? I don't care how good he is. Like I don't care how good that singer is or whoever. I don't care how good they are. When you finally stop listening to these people, when you finally stop listening to music, you'll actually, you'll realize, bro, like you'll realize thoughts are much easier to control because you're not adding disease to your, to your brain. You're not adding disease to your thoughts. So again, as soon as I stopped that, like my thoughts just became easier to control. It's like, I don't fall into depression because I'm able to actually control the brain. So whenever I notice there's like negative thoughts, I'm able to control it, bro. It's so easy. It's not that hard. Like most people are actually ruining their immune system. And this is sad because this is something that even the ancient people actually knew. Like our ancient ancestors, they knew the power of sound. But nowadays, most of us, we all think that this stuff is like, it's like pseudo, pseudo science, whatever that word is. It's not fake stuff, bro. This is not fake stuff. Now it's actually crazy. So look, I actually play chess, okay? And my rating for those of you who play chess is 1800. So I used to play chess, but I was just stuck at 1800. So what I actually did is that while I was playing chess, what I would do is I would actually just open YouTube and I would open like this Quran. So I'd basically be listening to Quran while I'm playing chess. So what happened, I remember I'm like, like every match, the moves I make are beautiful. I'm like, holy crap, I'm such a good chess player. So my rating now is like went from 1800 to almost 1900, almost. By the way, it's not that easy to get ratings in chess, but it's almost at 1900. And this is crazy because all I did is just add Quran while I'm playing chess. Now look, Quran, like the book, when it's actually recited, like that, bro, that is the actual healing frequency. If you just go right now, open like Quran on YouTube and you start listening to it, you'll notice it's like, this is healing. And why is it healing, bro? For two reasons. The first reason is that the human voice in general is actually healing. Like the human sound, they say it's got like a spiritual ring around it. So in general, the human sound is a very healing device. So when you're listening to me right now, you're actually healing, bro. So you're welcome. But then when you combine the human voice with actual words that are in of itself magnificent, and words that have been structured in a way where it actually induces healing, like you combine both of those, you'll just get a healing effect. Like Habibi, Habibi, I'm a huge believer in that if you actually have cancer, if you just listen to Quran, you could heal it. I don't want to make claims, but I truly believe that. If you have any disease, if you just listen to the Quran, you could heal it. And the reason why I believe that is because I've seen studies where cancerous cells, they would actually get destroyed if you just induce a positive frequency into them. This is basically sound therapy. It's not nothing new. It's sound therapy. Because what's happening is that you're actually changing the information within the cell and the cells actually become more capable in fighting the diseases, which is just, it's just insane things, bro. And it actually said in the Quran, like this is truly written in the Quran, where it says like we've actually sent down this book as a healing too. It's not just for you to get some information and then do stuff. This is truly healing. And it's not just healing, bro. It's healing for any disease. So for example, if you have depression, all you have to do is just open up the Quran, listen to it, and like, bro, you'll, your cells are going to change. Your thoughts are going to change. And by the way, for me, like I do read studies that are behind this stuff, but the best study is something that you do in your own life. Basically anecdotes. I like to become my own scientist. So I like to use myself as like a guinea pig and to put myself in like certain experiments just throughout my life, just to see if certain things work or not. So what I actually did this one time, so you see all this stuff right here. So basically when you search up 432 Hertz frequency, and then you see like all the stuff right here, you could see like I actually used to listen to all that stuff. Because the reason why I used to listen to this stuff, because I was a believer in sound therapy, right? So I'm like, if I just listen to this stuff, I know that I'll start getting more positive thoughts and all that stuff. And as a result, if I have more positive thoughts, like that's basically going to transform my business. It's basically going to transform my health. But what I noticed, I'm like, okay, I'm doing this stuff, 
but it's not really it's not really doing anything different in my life. It's doing some stuff, but not like stuff that are super different. But then what I did is that I went on YouTube and then I just searched up. I'm like, for those of you who don't know, it's just basically, you can see I've been watching this stuff. It's just basically like Quran being recited, but they recite specific verses and these verses are known to actually induce healing in your body. Now, usually this is done if there's like a demonic entity in your body. So like a sheikh would come and he would basically recite certain verses from the Quran and they would just basically try to take out the demonic entity within you. So I know I have no demonic entities within me and I tried this bro. But the reason why I wanted to try this is because I just felt like there are certain verses, certain ayat in the Quran that would actually get you more wealth. So what I did is I just searched up like instead of Quran Ruqya, I'm like wealth. Quran, Ruqya. So what I came upon is like all the stuff right here. Like all the stuff. And you can see like I've watched many of them. But there's one of them that I, I can't find anymore because like it was written in Russian for some reason. But when I was listening to it, I actually downloaded it. And to this day, bro, to this day, I listen to that thing every single day. So if I'm in the car driving, I would basically open this, the Ruqya, and I would basically listen to it. Now, it's the only one that I found that would actually have something different in my life like have positive changes in my life they all work because just for that one i don't know why like i started vibing with it vibrating with it literally so in the description i put like a google drive and this google drive has like an mp3 of that exact ruqya that i used and listen i'm telling you bro every time i listen to that positive changes happen in my life and positive changes in terms of wealth but every time i don't actually listen to it that's when it's like you're never maintaining right you're always up or down so when i don't listen to it I find myself going down, which is so annoying. But then when I do listen to it, that's when I find myself actually going up, which is crazy. And for those of you who know Arabic, when you're listening to it and you actually understand the words, you would just know it's like all the words that it's telling you are just positive things that tell you that your wealth is here. So then all you have to do is just listen to it every single day and that's going to change your thoughts. It's going to change your thoughts and it's actually going to give you the thoughts that you need to succeed. Because again, success only comes because of your thoughts. If your thoughts are negative, if you're always listening to negative music and it's making you have negative thoughts, you won't really succeed. But when you have good thoughts that actually help you think bigger, well, that's when you actually succeed. And I guarantee this, bro. This is stuff that I actually guarantee. Because this is stuff that I've seen in my own life. Forget all that studies. I care about anecdotes, life stuff. Life stories. So I'm telling you this based on something that I've done in my life. And listen, even if you don't know Arabic, even if you can't understand Arabic, there once this like the spiritual master, right? He saw this little kid and he basically told this kid, here is a bucket. Take this bucket. It's a dirty bucket, but I want you to take this bucket, go to the sea and come back with a full bucket. But the only issue is, is that this bucket has a hole in it. So the kid was like, okay, I'll just try to figure it out. So then the kid went to the sea with a bucket that's dirty, but it has a hole in it. So he took the bucket and he put some water in it and he went to the spiritual master. But by the time he went, <laughs> the water is just gone because it has a hole in it. So the spiritual master was like, Habibi, what are you doing? Go fill up the bucket again, it has no water in it. So the kid was like, okay, fine. So he just went, filled up the bucket again with water and he came back to the spiritual master. But again, the water is just gone because there's a hole in it. So this kid's just is like, how am I supposed to do this, bro? There's like a hole inside the, inside the bucket. So he's like, no, go another time. So the spiritual master kept telling the kid, Go multiple times. But when he came back, finally, after like the fifth or like the sixth time or whatever, he came back and he's like, I can't do this, man. The bucket is not going to get filled up. There's holes in it. But the spiritual master is like, but look at the bucket. Is it still dirty? It's not dirty anymore. So for those of you who are not understanding Arabic, even if you're listening to this stuff, even if you're not understanding this stuff, but you're still listening to it, well, what's happening is that you're still getting healing. You don't have to understand the words to actually get healing. You're getting healing regardless. Which is beautiful. So yeah, bro, like this MP3 is something that anytime I have like a loved one in my life and I want them to actually succeed, I would just give them this MP3. Because this is something for me, I've just had it in my life for a long time now. And it's been working. Truly, it's been working. So I truly hope it's going to benefit you guys. And I hope it's going to fix this habit of you listening to music. Instead of listening to music, just listen to this. If you're in the gym and you just want like dopamine hits, just listen to this. You're good. But trust me, when you start living your life without music at all, like it's an entire different life, man. You'll notice it's like... It's like an entire different life. But I hope this video was super helpful. If it is, bro, just let me know.